Hi, this is Eric Colburn with your AutoCAD Civil 3D 2011 for Land Surveyors, brought to you by EricColburn.com, the professional land surveyor source. And this video is Eagle Point Surveyor's Companion for Civil 3D, an overview. What I will be doing is just a quick overview of the features and functions of Eagle Point Surveyor's Companion for Civil 3D, and unpacking if you like. First, I'd like to thank Eagle Point for giving me a copy of Surveyor's Companion so that I could review and show you how this works with Civil 3D. And if you go to www.eaglepoint.com, you can navigate through their solutions to their Surveyor's Companion for Civil 3D page. And I'll have a link in the post that goes with this video at ericcolburn.com. And at the top of that page, I'll just read you a brief summary of what Surveyor's Companion for Civil 3D is, and it says, The Surveyor's Companion allows you to comfortably and productively move to AutoCAD Civil 3D with simplified COGO routines and user interface. It's integrated with Civil 3D and interacts with the native point, parcel, surface, alignments, and profile data. Multiple routines, both dialogue and command line based, are included to import raw alignment, lot and field traverse information directly into your drawings, bypassing the requirement of using an external survey database. Robust point placement routines are also available to quickly locate COGO points that can be uploaded to the field for staking. So visit their page and you'll learn quite a bit more about it. But again, just a quick overview and unpacking, if you will, of the Surveyor's Companion by Eagle Point. And the first thing you'll do is you'll load the program, which will go through a little setup routine, which I only had one little small problem with because of my setup with my computers. But it was uh, pretty uh, seamless. When you open up Civil 3D, it loads a tab in your ribbon. And you can see it along. I have that open along the top of the screen. And the tab is called Surveyor's Companion. And I'll just work. From left to right, we'll go over what the main tabs within Surveyor's Companion are. First, there's Points, then Layout, Reports, Surface Tools, Settings, and Help. Again, going back to Points, you have several commands. You have Place Points, Snap Points to Object, Place by Station and Offset, Zoom to Point, raise and lower points, place by alignment and profile, and we'll just expand the menu at the bottom here. You can convert EP nodes to Civil 3D points. I'm assuming EP stands for Eagle Point. And convert EP field code library and command line place point. The next tab layout, you can have alignment traverse, boundary traverse, field data traverse, command line traverse, layout footprint, which I'm excited. I'm looking forward to trying that out and also excited about parking stalls. I think those are maybe some automations in the process that will make work a little bit easier if you do that kind of layout of uh, footprints of buildings and drawing, uh, you know, parking designs. And next, I know a lot of you are really going to be excited about our reports. I know the one large complaint I hear about Civil 3D is that the reporting functions and features are, are lacking and hopefully this will will take up some of the slack in that area. First report is points, unused points, inverse, stakeout, and write legal descriptions. I really haven't tried too many of, of the functions of Surveyor's Companion but I did fiddle around a little with these point listings and reports. I, I, I did use that. And one of the things that I found very useful is the unused points, particularly when you're loading up your data collector and you're heading out in the field and you want to know what points are available so that you don't start overwriting points that are already in your drawings or in your, in your projects. And then I know a lot of you are really going to like the right legal descriptions. I went through that a little needs a little bit more setup than I had the time to do with, but it looks really, really good. And I think that can help you be more productive and hopefully more profitable. So I think you're going to use the reports functions very much. I think you're going to like those. Moving on to surface tools, there's the polyline contour tools, 
project plan objects, change elevation, and in the settings tab we have manage batch files, edit batch files, and then there's some options here of entry options and toggles and support path. Haven't used it yet. Like I said, I really just got this up and loaded and uh, only really used uh, some of the reports a, a little, but I think managing batch files and editing batch files, I think a lot of you will definitely like and have missed if you're going from LAN desktop over to Civil 3D. And then finally is your license, licensing command in the last tab and, and the help function, which has a user's guide, which I know I'll be delving into a little as I figure out how to use each of these functions and features and be making new videos and reporting back to you. So again, this has just been a quick overview of Surveyor's Companion by Eagle Point for Civil 3D. And we'll be doing more videos, so stay tuned uh, with each one of these functions and features and commands. And we'll see how well it works with Civil 3D. I think it's going to fill some of those gaps that are missing in usability in Civil 3D. So this has been AutoCAD Civil 3D 2011 for land surveyors, brought to you by me, Eric Colburn of ericcolburn.com, the professional land surveyor source.